Hi everyone, welcome to another glorious day here at Let's Do Bonsai. Today we're going to uh, plant on the sycamore conkers seeds that were uh, planted over the winter. They've come up really nicely, so let's do bonsai. So here we are with the sycamore seedlings. This was the first one that came up, but unfortunately um, it, uh, it killed over and uh, it won't be getting used um, but we do have a number of more of the conkers that have germinated and grown nicely and some more coming through so if we just count them up we've got one two three four five six seven that have put shoots right up and then we have eight and nine that those two are just just putting the shoots up so what we're going to do is I've got a number of uh, pots available some some plastic pots to put some soil in and we're going to lift these out of the uh, the seed tray and get them planted on into some plastic pots so that they can grow in them uh, across the uh, spring and the summer So here we have pot number one. I'm going to just scoop some soil out of the compost bag. Uh, it's literally just going to be standard compost soil that we look at to do this with. Um, we'll, we'll put them into some bonsai soil as we go forward. Um, and if we just work Work the seedlings out of the soil, trying not to damage the roots. So we've got some lovely, lovely fresh roots there. You can see the root has come out, dropped down into the soil, and then the sprout has come straight up to create this lovely branch that we've got there so we'll get that dropped into our soil and we'll just put a little bit of additional soil over the top and we'll get a bit of water We'll water that in and we'll go on with pot number two. These are nice big pots so that we've got plenty of space for them to grow into. So here we have the yellow pot, which I believe was from our larger lemon tree bonsai that we planted on. And if we select another seedling, we'll go with this one. Oh, we seem to have got connected up with another one there. So there's a, we'll pop that back in because that's due to, that's due to sprout. So we have another one and I'm going to plant them all on so that um, we have a, hopefully we'll have a good choice going forward because the ones that are really good now, we're not guaranteed they're going to carry on being really good so if we get them all planted on we can see what we've got throughout spring and summer look after them all as well as we can and then this time next year we'll be able to make some choices for which ones we want to take 
on the bonsai journey and any others we may want to give away, pass on to friends, relatives, co-workers, anybody that might be interested in having a sycamore tree. So that's number two. We'll get pot number three. Again, this is just standard multi-purpose compost that I'm using, nothing special. And we'll uh, select another seedling. And that's got lots of roots. We'll try and make sure we get that nicely into the pot without damaging it. Sometimes seedlings, even the strong ones, they go through this repotting process and they don't like it and they, they give up or fail to carry on. So hopefully these will carry on, but putting them all in will give us lots and lots of options for going forward. So we'll just bed them in water them and let them sit throughout spring and summer and that's number three pot number four now here we go with pot number four and if we have a look, we'll just pull out the one that didn't make it. It's a shame, but that's our first one that failed. And then we'll just go with the next large seedling. And that's got some coiled up taproot there. And we'll just get that. Push it into the pot, add some soil to the top. Give it a good water. Seedling number four. Pot number five. Here we go with pot number five. And we'll just take our next seedling, which has got, again, lots of nice roots. The tap root that wraps around the bottom but we're not going to worry about that at this moment we're quite happy to to have that and we'll just get some soil in and around that seedling And that's number five. Pot number six. And then we 
have pot number six and we have this seedling here that's poking itself through so we'll just grab that one and that has a lot of root on it also so although these ones are just coming through they do have good substantial root to work with we'll give that one a water So that's number six. We will just go and get one more pot for this seedling that's coming through because there's some nice strong root on there. Beginning, <laughs> beginnings of a nice radial root system there. Um, if only I dare chop that off and start it straight away. But we won't. So we're just coming in now with pot number seven. And this one will sit nicely in there. Give that a nice bit of water. That's number seven. So we'll just have a quick look through. We have one there that's breaking that one that's breaking and then we have one over here that's breaking and one here that's breaking so we still have four more that are breaking through so I will just add some water to that and then we'll get the lid put back on the propagator so that they can continue to grow. So I've got the lid to the propagator here, we'll put that back on and then that can go back in position in the greenhouse for those seeds to carry on growing. So we'll get these sycamores put to one side nice and safe and uh, we'll get tidied up and carry on. So here we are on the shelf, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Lots of other things going on up there. We have the willows that are just bursting through with their spring growth. Uh, we will be doing something with them shortly uh, but I think one of our next main projects is going to be this five finger pine because if you take a look in there there is a lot of roots and it just screams hard work again like we had with the Lawson Cypress so I think we've got quite a bit of work to do on the five finger pine which we'll get on with in the next video but for now I've been Scott Winnard this is Let's Do Bonsai and we'll see you again in the next one